Hello, hello! My name is Maria and welcome to my second channel on which I do whatever I want. Today I'm back with another Sims 2 series. If you don't know me, I'll do a little bit of an introduction here. If you do, feel free to skip this. But my name is Maria, my main channel is Masha Nuts, on which I do friendship bracelet videos and tutorials about them. My second channel is the channel on which I talk about whatever I feel like and sometimes do gaming videos because I like to play games in my free time and I also like to make videos, so I combine the two and make videos about gaming. I did a Sims 2 video series last year in which I was creating a neighborhood from scratch. I did about four or five episodes. I'll leave the first one linked in the card and in the description, but I never ended up finishing that series. And unfortunately I lost all access to that since that was on my laptop and the file got messed up when I tried to transfer it to my desktop and now I can't even access it there. Today I'm coming at you with a different series. This is gonna be a let's play. That one was more of like a structuring, laying the groundwork for a new town. I've decided not to do that for now. Maybe I'll get back to that idea at some point. Today I'm going to be playing. Never done a let's play before. Form, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> Might be a total disaster. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna pop on my... can't hear anything now. <laughs> From the outside world, I don't like having huge earphones on me, but we're gonna have to do this for the video. So I've thought about this for a while and I've decided that I want to play in Belladonna Cove. I never used to play in this town. I don't think I even had this town as a kid. So I used to play this back as a child, The Sims 2. I don't think I've ever played Belladonna Cove. So I thought we would try this town. It's got apartments. I've never played with apartments in The Sims 2. So let's do that. Is that, is that Bella Goth? I think it is, I think it's Bella Goth. Oh, we love Bella Goth here. All right, so I have got a family in mind that I want to play with. I want to play with the Newson family. So their bio reads, after their parents' untimely death, the adopted Newson clan is faced with the reality of separation and a return to foster care or weathering the unknown future together. With no parents to guide or protect them, can the Newsons continue to provide each other safety and security that their adopted parents provided? I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there is no way to create a family with no adults in The Sims 2 unless you mod the game. And this is a family that has no adults in The Sims 2. The oldest kids here are teenagers, we've got two teens, two children and two toddlers and I really want to play with them and uh, see how it goes. I assume it's gonna be a challenge but we will see. Where do I want to place them? 47,000? I need to get, an, I want to get an apartment but I need to get an apartment that's big enough. I also have no idea how apartments work. I'm gonna choose this one and see how it goes. I might have to choose a different one after but let's move into this one. All right, we're starting with the Newson family. I have no storylines in mind. I have no idea where I'm going. I've never done a uh, Let's Play before but I'm really excited. I want to, the only thing that I do have in mind is that I want to not hire now nannies or anything to help them uh, raise the kids and the toddlers and stuff. I want the teens to be solely responsible for taking care of the children without nannies or anything. All right, so I think, ooh, these are fancy apartments. I think I might have <laughs> chosen wrong here. How do I fit six kids? into this space. Okay, no, let's let's choose a different one. Let's choose a different one. Maybe this one. Let's try this one, see what this one looks like. All right, this doesn't look as fancy, which is a plus. We don't want them to start with a huge fancy apartment. All right, so these are all two-story apartments. We've got a bathroom downstairs and then two rooms upstairs. This I can work with. Yes, this I can work with. I think I can do this. Which apartment should I choose though? This one is occupied. So it's this one, this one, or this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. 2,275 per week. As I said, I've never done apartments in this game before. I genuinely don't know if that's a lot or not. But let's try it. All right, thank you for renting this apartment. You were charged the first week's rent. Rent with you every Monday, and you can always call me if you run into any problems. All right, let's finally introduce the family. We've got Gavin Newsom. He is a fortune sim. These are his traits. He's very active and quite sloppy. This is Ginger Newsom. She's a family sim, and these are her traits. She's mostly playful, 
and a little bit lazy. The baby here is Georgia Newson, who doesn't have an aspiration yet, but is very active and quite outgoing. These kids are all adopted, so they're not genetically related, but the babies are their twins, and this one is Garrett Newson, and these are his stats. And the kids are Gallica Newson and Gabriella Newson. So as you can see, they're all named with a G. I think that's kind of funny. All right, let's get started. I want to build them a house first. And by that, I mean furnish the house. They've got quite a lot of money. I don't want to spend it all in one day. Probably going to make this the older teen kids room and this the young kids room. I'm thinking about whether I should uh, create another room here maybe for the babies or something. I'm probably just going to put the cots in the older teens room. Room anyway. I didn't realize I couldn't edit walls. So I said I've never played apartments in The Sims 2 and in The Sims 4 you can edit walls within the apartment but you just can't edit the outer walls and I didn't realize you couldn't do that here and I can't get rid of the, the closet either because I, I wanted to get rid of it and like put the cots here instead but I can't do that. <laughs> I need to think of a way around that now. I could do this right like it works but this is stupid like this looks this looks stupid. <laughs> what if I just do this? If, what if I just switch the rooms? Cause that, that really did look stupid. I'm gonna switch the rooms. I'm gonna try and put in a closet somewhere as well. There we go, we've got a nice little room for the teens and the babies. I put up a little bit of decoration here and there. I like to imagine that these are drawings of the younger siblings that they decided to put up on the wall cause they look cute. And I put a little plot there as well. It's not much of a room, but I imagine that they wouldn't be super wealthy anyway. So I think it fits for the story. I'm gonna fill in the rest of the rooms and then give you a bit of a house tour. All right, so some changes have been made. We've got 27,000 left, which is a decent amount. That's a good amount of money to have. I honestly thought I would spend more to be honest, but let me show you around. This is the first floor. I didn't do too much here. We've got a kitchen. It's the same. We've got an area to eat. I put one high chair. We've got two kids, but I put one high chair. I don't really know where to put the second one. Plus, I don't think I'm going to be using high chairs very often anyway, so it's fine. We've got a communal computer because I feel like they need a computer and I don't think they need more than one. We've got an area for entertainment with some video games and also an area to develop your creativity skill. We've got this little nook for reading and studying up on whatever skills that they need to study up on. The downstairs bathroom, I also put a grill here. And this is what the upstairs looks like. So we've already done this bedroom. As for here, we've got some kids toys and an area to learn logic. And this is the kids room. We've got an area for them to do their homework and also to play and sleep. That's it. <laughs> All right, time to actually start playing the game. What do they want? Get into private school, earn some money, get into the athletic career. I think since he's the one who is the fortune sim who wants to earn the money, he's going to be the one getting the job. And then Ginger would probably stay at home with the kids since she is a family sim, it seems to fit with their wants. Oh, he's signing the contract, the lease for the apartment. These kids are running around and playing tag. Oh, look at them, they're so cute siblings bonding. Do they actually have good relationships with each other? Not really, I need to work on that. And the family tree is literally just the siblings. They don't even have the dead parents on the family tree, but that's fine. Right, we've plopped these kids down. I mean, let's get on it, I guess. We're starting on a Monday, so they've already missed school for the day. Let's find you a job. He wants to go into the athletic career, but if it's not an option today, I'm just gonna make him take whatever job. She wants to gain a cooking skill point. Okay, we can do that. Are you playing peekaboo with the kid? That's adorable. Okay, you, oh, I forgot to put potties for them. Should I put them in a hungry space? So I'm gonna replace this shower and bath with a bath shower combo and then put the potty in the empty space. There we go. Now we have a potty. <laughs> Journalism, look again. Meanwhile, potty train the kids, please. Oceanography, interesting, look again. Medicine, he can apply as a nursing home attendant. Look again though. I actually like that one. If there's no other jobs, I'm gonna take that one. Science, career, no. Okay, there's no more jobs available. Let's cycle through them again. Okay, let's take the nursing home attendant and that's also the highest paying out of all of them, 65 a day. Oh, I assume the potty training was successful since it says empty now. That is how I feel about potties as well, I agree. <laughs> Look at you jamming out. I love The Sims 2 because they have personality and they start doing things on their own and it's awesome. All right, serve lunch. Uh, let's do sandwiches since your cooking skill isn't high enough to do anything else really. 
Okay, meanwhile you, what do you need for your job? Cleaning. Go study cleaning. Look at these happy kids! I love how the kids dance in this game, it's so cute! And it's so realistic as well. Look at her setting the table for the appropriate amount of people! Okay, time for a family meal. I have no idea what the kids are doing. Are they hungry? Yeah, they're hungry and sleepy. I'll figure out their stuff later. I love how they eat and talk! I love everything about this game! <laughs> Did you just fart in front of everyone? No. Clean up. Clean that up. You're not making your sister clean up after you. That's disgusting. All right, time for you to actually feed the kids now. You are a slob. Clean up. Oh, okay, that high chair doesn't work. Might as well get rid of that then. I don't need it anyway. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. We've got two <laughs> screaming children. Oh my god, okay, stop doing that. Get bottle for Garrett. They will not stop screaming. Is that my neighbors being loud? I was curious what that was. I think my neighbors are being loud. Bang on wall. Oh, okay, you could do that. Instead of caring for the toddlers, yes, go bang on the wall. <laughs> I had no idea you could do this. That's so fun. Ah, oh, you're already asleep and you're in the wrong bed. Maybe don't do that. I forgot a changing table. Can I just bathe the kid instead? The changing table is just gonna have to go here. There's no other place for it to go, so. <laughs> go change the diaper. I love the animations in this game. I love that you have to take the powder and then, you know, use the baby powder and everything. Look at that, they open the drawers to get stuff out of them. It's the little details. It's the little details that make this game what it is. I love it. <laughs> Today's a bit of an introductory day. I think it, tomorrow is going to be more difficult. Tomorrow is going to be their first day of school. Oh my god, look at you, you little piggy. Why are you eating like that? <laughs> See, the Sims and the Sims 2 have actual personality, like the way that their traits, like he is a slob, that's in his traits, but that influences how he behaves in life. Anyway, my point is that they're going to have to somehow alternate who goes to school and who doesn't to be able to take care of the kids. Uh, don't go to sleep yet. Go take a shower first and then maybe put the kids to bed or something. I don't know. Good night. Time for bed. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> oh, he can't get into bed. I did not consider that. Well, I guess you don't have a wardrobe then. Maybe they share a wardrobe in that case. I don't really have anywhere to place it. I'm just gonna give you a bedside table instead. All right, time for you to go to sleep as well, Ginger. I absolutely am gushing over this game. I love the little details of The Sims 2. That's the, oh my God, they woke up everyone. That's the main reason that I still play The Sims 2. I'm very excited that I tried this games activity. Oh yeah, I forgot that they have um, hobby enthusiasm. She's interested in games. Have the rest figured out what they like? He's interested in nature. These kids don't know yet. Sports, really? You're a toddler, Georgia, and you already figured out that your hobby is sports. Ah, stop fighting. I know you're still teenagers, but stop fighting. It's three in the morning. Did you guys get any sleep? You got a bit more sleep. You hold the kids. Go feed them. It's life with babies for you. <laughs> Waking up at four in the morning to go feed them. I told you to get a bottle for the kid. Don't Stop that! <laughs> go throw up! Go get some sleep! Why are you crying, baby? Gonna wake everyone else up in the family. And, yep, yep, the kids are now up. This is chaos! Go play something! Okay, that's fine. They actually did get a decent amount of sleep. The kids are gonna help up with some cleaning as well. Get rid of those dirty bottles. Ah, oh, look at that! They have to step on a stepping stool to be able to get his clothes! That is adorable! That is adorable! Oh my god! Look at you helping the family. Well done! Alright, they've got school in an hour it's a new day everything is going wrong wake up take care of the kids time uh, time for school and they're having breakfast down here look at them what do you want you want to go steady with someone oh you want a relationship yeah tough luck you've got kids to take care of he's talking look at that he's babbling oh he asked did he just ask to get his diaper changed i swear i did not touch that that was automatic that I oh my god that's adorable all right well <laughs> let's pause for now I think I'm going to end the first part here so this was more of like a part zero rather than a part one this is more of like an introduction to the family and the household and the dynamics and we did some building and, uh, and we're just kind of getting started really there's a lot that I want to do with these guys. I want to explore a lot of the mechanics of the game. I want to explore the hobbies. I want to 
basically challenge myself, I said this before, like I want to challenge myself to not hire nannies and then somehow juggle school and work and everything with that. And then maybe we'll see the kids grow up and maybe they'll go to college or whatever. We'll see where life takes us after that. But there's plenty of opportunities and I kind of want to explore the content of all of the packs that The Sims 2 has to offer. So yeah, there's plenty of opportunities to create really fun stories with these guys. I know that The Sims 2 isn't what people follow me for, but I love this game and I really want to create videos about it. So I'd appreciate it if you left a comment if you did enjoy this video. I absolutely had fun and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.